No word of charges will be filed against a juvenile who police say triggered a shelter in place at Lexington Middle School. Police say a seventh grade student spotted a threat posted on Instagram during the middle of class yesterday. The student then told the teacher everyone was then asked to stay inside the classrooms. Four hours passed before they were able to leave. An explosive detection canine was brought in to do a sweep and found nothing. More than two dozen parents waited outside of the buildings while all of this was going on. Uh, uh, Taking extra precaution, more like, I mean, uh, if it wasn't for this one little girl seeing this Instagram post, how, how could have day, today went? You know, it, it could have ended up worse than what it was. I know that a lot of parents are distraught and they don't like having their kids locked in a building and not being able to get to them, not being able to hold them or hug them or anything. Lexington police say there was no credible threat on campus. There will not be any increased patrols near the schools today. Yesterday's threat comes as schools across the country are being threatened with swatting calls, creating a massive police response when there's no need to at all. On Monday, 10 schools in Virginia reported threats and many went into lockdown. None of those threats were threat credible. The threats didn't stop there either. In Denver, police responded to a high school in the city to reports of a threat, but no threat was found. Following the threats to five other high schools, the FBI is addressing these what they call swatting calls. The agency says it takes this very seriously because it puts innocent people at risk. Schools in Cabarrus County and Mooresville High Schools received threats through an automated message, but the threats were also not credible. Last week, Guilford County Schools told Fox 8, Wellborn Academy of Sciences and Technology and the Kearns Academy were evacuated briefly due to threats. High Point Police said they have not received any credible threats against any schools, and a man threatened Zebulon High School on Snapchat despite the school not existing, but other Wake County schools were on high alert.